All right, Stacy told me to turn the air up slowly. All right, so in a normal Andrew Huang video, if I were gonna use a rubber chicken to make music, I would make some noises with the rubber chicken, I would sample it, I would split screen it. You've seen me do that a bunch of times before. Not with a rubber chicken, but same idea. But today we're gonna do something so much better. I have with me on loan from a mad scientist, the mutant chicken. I've been playing with this for a few weeks and I've made some crazy music with it, which I'm about to show you, but I think you'll appreciate it more if you understand how this works. This is a completely normal rubber chicken. It's being held up on this Bunsen burner stand. You know, like for science, this black cable going into its neck is for a microphone. And then there's a tube that's going into the... Uh, the tube runs to this solenoid, which starts and stops the airflow from this air compressor. And the solenoid is powered and controlled by this custom Eurorack module. So you can send control voltage to the module to open up the airflow as well as control the light show. It's starting to feed it some voltage. And this can go really bright. Maybe need an epilepsy warning right about here. I'm gonna speed it up. Yeah, rave. So a little bit of backstory. The inventor of this magnificent instrument is a legitimate synthesizer designer. The Mutant Chicken represents months of work by Stacy Gadreau of Hex Inverter. We met a couple months ago at the Toronto Sound Festival and he loaned me his chicken. I have a bunch of his mutant drum modules in my Eurorack setup and I absolutely love them. <laughs> This is completely analog drum synthesis and it's fantastic. And then the Mutant Chicken, that's a fully analog synthesizer right there. <laughs> so here's the first piece of music I wanna share with you built around the sounds of the Mutant Drums and the Mutant Chicken. So that was the first track that I made with the chicken, and I love that there were a pretty decent variety of sounds there. There was stuff that sounded like horns, there was a cool kind of building section. The sound that stood out to me the most, though, was the uh, really painful sounding screaming. So after I made that, I thought we should try a different genre. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already and press that bell button if you want to be notified every time I put out a new video. Huge thanks to Stacy at Hex Inverter for lending me the chicken so I could make all this weird stuff. He's got a new module coming out that I'll link to in the description. And if for some reason you want to download my chicken music, it is available on my Patreon along with hundreds of other exclusive tracks. I'll link to that as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.